Reporting live from the bike portion of the Toronto Triathlon Festival 2022, it's live for last week, episode 83. Let's go! Welcome, you, my fellow Jaywalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on, I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So today I'm just in the middle of two night shifts and I'm pretty excited because that 2022 home run derby was the main feature on TV last night. And so this afternoon, while editing some of my live from last week episode 82 footage, I have this spectacle of a sports show playing in the background. And purposely, I've been trying not to spoil it for myself, staying away from reading any sports articles for the past 12 hours. I have my pick as the one and only Juan Soto to win this year's 2022 Home Run Derby. So I'm going to watch the rest of this replay this afternoon before I go in for my night shift and spend the rest of the day just relaxing. But before I go in for work, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball slash indoor volleyball friends out there. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Sharam. Happy birthday, Sharam. Next birthday greeting goes out to one of my friends who's a trooper who watched both a Blue Jays game and an Argos game with me on the same day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Justin. Happy birthday, Justin. I'm hoping that my friends out there that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Hey guys, so this evening I'm back downtown with the mini here to pick up the wife after her day shift. And back to that prediction that I had for the home run derby. Guess who won the 2022 MLB home run derby a couple nights back? That's right, it was my boy Juan Soto. And so this afternoon, after taking my post night shift nap, and staying in all day editing live from last week video, I checked out the replay of the 2022 MLB All-Star Game featuring five players from the Toronto Blue Jays 2022 roster and thoroughly enjoyed myself watching the American League defeat the National League 3-2. But there was just one little sin that I have to confess while watching the MLB All-Star Game. So you guys remember this scene from last week's episode Earlier this afternoon, while going shopping for some groceries, I had a mad craving for some junk food in the form of the Filipino favorite, Chicharron. Well, this week, this guy had caved in to his cravings, shamelessly enjoying finishing that bag of Chicharron. But yeah, after we do pick up the wife tonight, I just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. The first birthday shout out going out to one of our family friends, Ken. Happy birthday, Kenny. Next up, a birthday greeting to one of our friends back in my Wysik days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Joe. Happy birthday, Joe. And last but not least, we got one other birthday greeting to one of our other family friends out there. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sam. Happy birthday, Sam Sam. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And yeah, even after having that chicharron bag earlier, I'm still feeling a little bit hungry. So let's make our way back to Scarborough and see what we have lined up for dinner. I don't know if you guys remember this scene from an episode a while back. And I'm glad because on the dinner table today, in celebration of this momentous occasion, the wife surprised me with some art of barbecue. But today we are at the art of barbecue. Ooh, I can't wait to try out this smoked barbecue pork butt. Woo, let's go home. All right, let's see what we got. Some rice and gravy, some sole slaw, some more sole slaw, and the main event of the evening. Boom, the barbecue smoked pork butt. And I don't know if this works, but having this meal with a nice cold brewed lager, telling just by my reaction of how the food tasted tonight, all I could say was it was heavenly. 
So, if you guys haven't checked out Art of Barbecue on the corner of Midland and Kingston, definitely go in and visit, try their barbecue smoked pork butt, and be sure to say hi to either Trevor or Chi Chi, a couple of cool people who work there and who have made this delicious dinner for us to enjoy this evening. So, we're already a full month into summer, and after driving the wife to her chiropractic appointment earlier today, and even though it was pretty windy outside, I can truly say that the summer heat is definitely upon us. So to help ourselves cool off a little bit, the wife and I, for the first time in a while, went to a McDonald's drive through and with a nice little coupon that we have for McDonald's, we experienced our first ever McDonald's dollar value ice cream cone together. Along with that treat, today, actually, we have several birthday greetings for a couple of you guys out there. First, a birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball friends, with whom I played twos with in an early morning beach volleyball session that we had last summer. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Sherry. Happy birthday, Sherry. Next up, another beach volleyball friend of mine, who has been improving her skills, impressing me year after year, as well as being an art designer, designing things on things like water bottles, volleyballs, and so much more. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Lisa. Happy birthday, Lisa. On deck, we got a birthday greeting to one of my university friends, with whom I'm remembering playing tennis with him and Marvin at Moss Park back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, David. Happy birthday, David. We've also got a birthday greeting to a foreign exchange student friend of mine, with whom I'm remembering partnering with for those good times back at Wysik. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Joseph. Happy birthday, Joseph. Next up, we got a birthday greeting to one of the biggest Chicago Blackhawks fans out there. And this one is to all the memories that we had back at Wysik when we lived at 8B6. This birthday greeting goes out to my roomie, Evan. Happy birthday, Evan. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my favorite uncles out there, who always burns it up on the dance floor dancing YMCA and was an inspiration to all my triathlons. This birthday greeting goes out to the one and only Eddie Spaghetti. Happy birthday, Manung Ed. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But back on that topic about thinking about triathlons, recalling this scene from a previous Live From Last Week episode, I remembered that with the t-shirt that I have on right now, and the medal that I have hanging on my bedside table, that in just 10 days after signing myself up a couple of months ago, this guy has a triathlon. I'm remembering that this weekend on Sunday, I have my Toronto Triathlon Festival sprint race coming up. Also looking at this memory of a video that was shot of my first ever triathlon from one of my friends exactly nine years ago today, as well as this picture, which reminded me exactly three years ago today of my last triathlon over there, and yeah, it reminded me that I actually have to find my wetsuit that I use for the swim portion of the triathlon race. So I'm gonna try to break out that wetsuit from the closet and I'm hoping, just hoping, that this wetsuit will still fit me after the pandemic and after not doing any triathlons for the past couple of years. All right guys, verdict is in. I can still fit in this wetsuit as long as I don't have to zip up the zipper. Anyways, it's time to take off this skin tight wetsuit off, go in for one random night shift tonight, and I'm hoping that after I achieve getting this wetsuit off, I'll be able to see you guys again tomorrow. So after a busy night shift last night, and after only being able to sleep for an hour after my work, I've realized that today being Friday and having Saturday and Sunday off, it's the first time I've had a three day weekend like this off, in more than a month. And with that being said, only one song comes to mind. It's Friday again. What? It's Saturday and Sunday. What? It's Friday again. What? It's Saturday and Sunday. What? And recalling that I'm only a couple of days away from doing my first triathlon in a couple of years, I was at home earlier to search through my closet to look for some gear that I needed for this race. And especially considering this scene a couple months back where I tossed out my old triathlon shoes, I relocated from the back of my closet these babies. A pair of Nike shoes that I bought before the pandemic, actually bought on my wife's birthday as a present to myself. 
that I was planning to use to replace my old ones. And so here I am now back at Ontario Place for the first time since that neon night bike ride doing one of the only training bike sessions that I have before my race and to pick up my race kit for Sunday. All right guys, just here at the quick little triathlon expo. Got my swim cap and my swag bag. Now let's see what's inside. All right guys, it's time to make the hour and 15 minute bike ride back to Scarborough. Take back the car so I can pick up the wife from work this evening. And now that we're downtown with the Mini, I'm thinking that the heat has really gotten to me. Mainly because at this time, I forgot that I have to figure out what I'm gonna get the wife for dinner tonight. But before I solve that problem, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of our FSAP friends that we had while we were tutoring back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Kayleen. Happy birthday, Kayleen. And next, we got a birthday greeting to one of the people that I went to World Youth Day with in Europe back in 2011. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Melissa. Happy birthday, Melissa. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of our beach volleyball friends of whom I'm excited to go and play beach volleyball with later this summer. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Matthew. Happy birthday and bona fete. I'm hoping that all my friends out there that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And guess what we settled on? Papa John's Pizza! And so we wrapped up the night eating our Mediterranean and Donaire pizza while watching the record setting Blue Jays game where Rymo Tapia hit a inside the park grand slam at Fenway Park. The Blue Jays putting up an unbelievable 25 runs in the first five innings, eventually winning on a franchise record score 28 to three. So after waking up early with the bright sun in our eyes, driving the wife to our day shift this morning, as well as looking up at the clock at City Hall. And just like this scene from a previous live from last week episode where the clock wasn't working, I realized that while we were driving, I looked up at the clock on the clock tower at Toronto's old City Hall and noticed that the clock stood still and was not working. At seven o'clock this morning, the clock at City Hall was still reading midnight, as well as taking a quick sneak peek at the new bridge that's being constructed at Sick Kids. The next 24 hours of my life will be some of the busiest. I'm headed over to the exhibition grounds to meet up with some of my friends with this beauty of a costume. And start off today with Beer Fest 2022. Now back at home after watching the Strumbellas. Okay. 
and Sam Roberts do his thing on the stage at Beer Fest. I just want to quickly thank Sydney, Shaughnessy, and my sister for coming with me and enjoying the 2022 Toronto Beer Festival this year. And after getting some delicious Chinese food from our local Royal Kanji restaurant, it's time to rest up and hopefully get rid of this hangover and get ready for all the events that I have planned for myself starting tomorrow morning. So after an amazing time at Beer Fest last night, going home, sleeping, and waking up early with a hangover, I'm now back at Ontario Place. After months of minimal training, including having my last swim session, be from this scene in a previous Live From Last Week episode, eventually ending up at the Toronto Triathlon Festival today. So after spending all day Saturday at Beer Fest, then having a hangover, getting up early this morning to come to race, swimming 750 meters, biking 20 kilometers, and finishing up a 5K run, we are approaching the finish line! Woo! 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 Beer Fest! Beer Fest after this! Beer Fest! Beer Fest! Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's go. So after finishing up my Toronto Triathlon Festival Sprint Race today, the sister decided to treat me out to some Jollibee, where I was able to try out the Aloha Yum Burger. Mm. Mm -hmm. Aloha. Isn't that mm, burger? Good. Which, if you guys haven't tried it out yet, it's a definite must try from Jollibee. And afterwards, we decided to drive around Scarborough visiting my cousin's place, as well as my nephew who is celebrating a belated birthday today, where we got him a gift that looks very familiar from a previous Live From Last Week episode. Birthday boy! Birthday boy! Wow! Wow! It's a heavy one. What is this? What is that? What is that? That's a bubble guppy gun. Okay. And then lift up. No, 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 don't shoot it. And then now press. shoot. Go. Whoa! Oh, this one's cooler. Whoa. This one's cooler. Whoa. 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 Yeah. And man, did he ever take advantage of this brand new bubble gun that we got him? Wow! Say let's rock! Bubble bee! Oh, he's gonna hit you! Okay. Here we go. Bubble bee! Bye bye! 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 <laughs> and after dropping off my sister to a local GO train station, I'm headed back to visit my cousins once again before wrapping it up for the day. But before I do that, we have a birthday greeting for you guys today. And this birthday shout out goes out to one of my elementary school slash high school friends back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Danny. Happy birthday, Danny. 
I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Chloe, where are you? Where are you, Chloe? Where are you, Chloe? See how sad he is? Look at those eyes. Look at those sad, sad eyes. <laughs> So excited! Are you all done? Let's not play with the water. So after a long weekend beer festing, triathlon racing, and birthday partying slash helping babysit my niece and nephew, this morning when I woke up early around 6 a.m., I don't know if you guys can tell by these following videos, but my body was just sore. I mean, like, it was one of those mornings where it feels like you were just hit by a Mack truck. So, all day today, I just took it easy, edited a lot of Live From Last Week episode 83 video that I shot from earlier this week, and tried to rest up and recover from all the activities that I had this past weekend. Mainly because I'm going in for one solo night shift tonight. But yeah, guys, this pretty much sums up this week's hectic Live From Last Week episode. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.